everyone, and welcome back to Speedbird 676. I hope everyone's doing well on the ground and also in the air. Now, you might be wondering what's been going on with me due to my recent hiatus from making videos. Now, one of my family members passed away. It was my grandfather, and, you know, with that, I wasn't really in a good place in terms of, like, you know, making videos and stuff like that. So I didn't want to sound solemn making videos, and plus, I just wanted to get my head together. And as such, I would like to thank everybody who send their condolences and everything like that but as with everything we must move on and plus he wouldn't want me to sit here and just cry about him he would want me to keep doing the things that i love doing and of course one of the things that i love doing is making aviation videos so with that being said let's get into the topic of the video now the video is going to be about the a321 xlr now the a321 xlr is supposed to be introduced at the 2019 paris air show and with that being said, some of the specifications of the A321 XLR is the fact that it's going to have double bogies or possibly double bogies because it did say that they were going to have reinforced landing gear, main landing gear, and also an enlarged fuel tank in the, in the central portion of the aircraft. Now the A321 XLR, which stands for extra long range, is another rendition of the already producing A321 LR, which has a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. The XLR is going to have a maximum range of 5,000 nautical miles. Now Airbus has quoted that the A321 XLR is supposed to be another option to replace aging Boeing 757s and Boeing 767s. But more importantly, it's supposed to go up against the up-and-coming, or shall we say, now up-and-coming delayed Boeing 797, or as also dubbed, the Boeing NMA. Now many people are speculating when is Boeing going to counteract with this new development coming from Airbus, which has been in the rumor mill for a while now. However, due to the 737 MAX crisis riddling Boeing, Boeing has stated that they will be delaying introducing the 797 program. This allows Airbus to not even bust through the gate, just leap right over the gate and start fresh with the A321 XLR introduction, as stated before, supposed to be slated for the 2019 Paris Air Show. Now I'm really intrigued what Airbus will be producing within the A321 XLR program. Due to the fact that the Boeing NMA has now been delayed due to Boeing's recent 737 MAX crisis. And I'm really kind of skeptical with the A321 XLR program because I feel that if you want to do a good NMA, you wouldn't just look into the narrow body sector, you would also look in the wide body sector as well. And yes, I do understand that a narrow body has better capabilities in terms of operating into certain airports. However, in the wide body sector, you have aircraft such as the 767, which has been prosperous within the NMA sector or middle of the market sector. Now, there is a certain aircraft that many aviation enthusiasts dubbed it as an aircraft that was before its time. It primarily operates with Air Transat, and sadly, it's being replaced by the A321LR, but it's the A310. Now, the A310 is a smaller variant of the original Airbus aircraft, the A300. Now, the A310 has the same amount of range as the up-and-coming A321 XLR. Now, the typical configuration of the A310 was 20 business class seats and 200 economy seats. And it's funny how I bring up the A310 because this is something that Boeing is looking into. Something around the size of the A310, but a little bit bigger so if that's the case it sounds like a 767 which will be placed in the video that i make next which is about the boeing nma also dubbed as the 797 but this video is mainly about the a321 xlr so let's get back to that so my final thoughts on the xlr i feel that the xlr has potential however it only has so much potential because normally when you're flying anywhere more than 4,000 nautical miles, it's typically by a wide body jet. And also, the cargo capacity on a wide body jet is far greater than something that you would get on a narrow body. And with the A321 XLR, it is pretty much a newer plane by some of the things that I've heard or some of the things that I've seen in the rumor mill. Now, 
obviously everything is subject to change or rather aviation is subject to change so we can only speculate at this point but i cannot wait to see what airbus is going to put out to us when it comes down to the paris air show so with that being said what do you think about the a321 xlr and what do you think about the recent news generating around the boeing 797 or also dubbed the Boeing NMA, which is going to be in the next video. Please do feel free to comment down below. And as always, I'd like to take the time for thanking you for tuning in to Speedbird 676, and I'll be taking flight with you in the next video. See you soon.